Hello everyone, I'm just uh, doing a little um, update on my tune because I'm going to reincarnate shortly and I really enjoyed this build so I wanted to, to, to save it for myself mainly but uh, since we are here I will show you as well uh, Firstly I will um, show for anyone interested and mostly for me also how um, at, w at what point in past lives I am and uh, other uh, secondary goodies uh, I will put in the description uh, the the, fra the time uh, frame for anyone that only is only looking for the build so uh, currently I I have a bunch of past lives as you if you followed my um, uh, my uh, whole life series, which I never completed, uh, you know that I already had a wizard, a barbarian, a sorcerer, and I was doing um, an artificial past lives. Following that, I followed with uh, a paladin, an alchemist, a rogue iconic uh, Shadarkai, and then a monk which was actually my best uh, so far but I, I will redo the build uh, in the near future and when that happens I will post a video for that too and now the current ranger um, Tempest one as for Iconics I currently only have Shadarkai uh, as I mentioned which was the rogue past lives and I will soon have the Azimar Scourge because I'm, as a ranger I took Azimar Scourge as for epic past lives, I'm pretty close to epic completionist because I have two brace, three colors of the queen, two enchant weapon, and two skill mastery. So I will not get another now because I will do an iconic, but uh, and probably the, f the next few lives will also be iconic. But uh, I expect to be able to uh, to be to have both both a heroic and epic uh, completionist uh, together. I also uh, took uh, since last time that I mentioned I have a plus eight tome in each stat, as well as a plus three tome to past uh, to fate point, and I also find, uh, completed my the remnant collection for having two of uh, each of the remnant uh, uh, tomes and uh, I also have a one in event uh, actual action point and one in event uh, universal tree action point which for some reason doesn't show here so this is, was my update my next uh, life will most likely be a PDK uh, fighter life I probably will go pure although I'm not sure yet because uh, I don't like uh, having just one role but uh, I will think about it so the the build this is a pure ranger as you can see these are the stats they are, they are not much uh, impressive um, honestly because uh, yeah you could probably have some more strength I should have a diamond of dexterity which would also help uh, with uh, the reference save the same I would I would need some uh, uh, diamond of wisdom, which will help with the will saves. Uh, and all in all, I'm all my stats are not uh, at the top, but uh, uh, in quests they would go up a little bit because I would have this, and then I would have seven points for my primal scream, which I cannot cast right now. So I, you, you have to trust me. <laughs> um, Right now I have uh, 32 Reaper point, so uh, compared to if you do it this in a new tune, you would have some less uh, hit points ca and constitution coming from uh, from the course. And uh, as you can see, I spent points in Green Barricade and Dread Adversary. And uh, no, no reason to go in any other tree. And yeah, so I took Azimar Scourge mainly because of this announcement here, which 
uh, yeah, it gives uh, for melee, melee power, but mo mostly it gives a plus one secret bonus to critical multiplier with clubs like Macy's, AV Macy's, and Morningstar. So, yeah, I decided to focus on this because you get plus one to multiplier, you get additional 5% double strike with the uh, offhand, both with the main end and with the offhand. And also you get uh, additional uh, bonuses to, to double strike and etc. And they, all your weapons are good, so you you get a pretty pretty significant bonus in using the weapons. And there are actually a pretty good amount of morning star uh, throughout the game. Uh, I'm in theory at end game I should have been using the legendary beacon of night and the legendary beacon of the day for additional uh, um, uh, set bonuses um, because you would get an additional offhand double strike which you would uh, would otherwise don't get and uh, but I couldn't uh, drop the beacon of day so I'm currently using a uh, night model monster because I don't have uh, anything else but while leveling you have uh, a lot of good weapons to use you could have the the style of Eviang, and um, while in epics you could take the epic cranium cracker, which is very good actually. And I was uh, happily, happily surprised by this. And uh, yeah, you could you have a lot of uh, options. The style of Eviang, I as I mentioned, but also there are the heroic version of the beacons, is, uh, and also. There is a money star in um, Smash and Burns, which if you f uh, if, if you farm that, that's a pretty good weapon to use for this uh, purpose. And uh, yes, so uh, weapon side there isn't much choice, but the those few choices are really 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 good. Uh, honestly, I was uh, surprised uh, how good this uh, for this. Uh, behaved as dps so how did did i spend my announcements well full um full tempest you you get some less benefit of not running the stability because uh, the cores tend to give you 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 can get dexterity pretty easily but uh, i went with uh, strength because uh, the 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 weapon finesse doesn't work with uh, with Macy's, and I, as as I can as I said, this was a choice. I'm I'm pretty sure this was the best choice. So take all the cores, of course. Take Ace Boost. This is basically the best. Of course, you want to take this for some additional defenses, and also the deflect arrows every two seconds is really good in some situation. I took this just to get to tier 2, but uh, it's not really that uh, important. But as you can see, you could take plus 1 to item damage, but not uh, not much uh, else. Uh, in tier 2, I took this for additional PRR. The defenses on this room were not very good, so I have to, to take any defense that were rolls, such as this plus 3 to dodge, which is still very good. Uh, I, I experimented with this and it it was pretty decent but uh, as a, an attack for a plus three weapon but uh, the, the bleed effect was not uh, significant because it doesn't scale with anything so I I'm I wouldn't suggest taking this I would suggest taking this because more dodge cap means more dodge means uh, you can actually uh, survive some hits because uh, I can rest up to 27 percent dodge without any augment for um, for armor dexterity, so I could take it for to up up to I think 30. And so mm, take this, I suggest. And also you really really need to to take this because the. Uh, does a little bit of extra damage to the sixes of electric damage, and the electric absorption is actually pretty decent right right now in the end game rates. 
mainly killing time, uh, but uh, so in Master Artificer and in LOB and also Vision of Destruction, electric damage is everywhere, so it's pretty good to, to have this. Take Elaborate Parry, uh, it's quite difficult to remember to hit this, but even mm, as a strength-based strength build, you can see that I still get a plus 9 to dodge and maximum dodge if I hit this, which is pretty good actually. If you are dexterity based, of course, this could go up to 100 uh, dodge, which would be very good, but uh, it's still pretty decent uh, in, even as a strength based. Uh, in Epic, I started using this way less, but um, yeah, still, I think it's a good enhancement. Of course, you need to take the growing storm and, and remember to use it as soon as it's off cooldown because it's, uh, you, you get so much bonus from, from this. And then, of course, you want to, to put the, the dual perfection to get the offhand damage up. You want the dance of that. This is basically the best uh, enhancement ever. You get plus 200 stack two, which it means you hit three or more uh, mobs each time you you do an attack. You can up your stack two in other ways too, but that's amazing. And then I suggest taking the active Alhazen cuts. You could take the passive bonus, but the passive bonus is pretty minimal. While this which is 30 double strike, which brings my double strike up to close to 100 and 30 melee power for, th for 15 seconds. It's really important when you see a Reaper inside of you, especially if it's a Doom Reaper, you, you want to, to kill it as fast as you can. You don't care about the sustained, you want burst uh, DPS. And uh, I, I, as I will mention later, I went all in for burst DPS. So. I strongly suggest this. I didn't take evasive dance mainly because it's basically improved evasion if you take all uh, all three. But three action points for improved evasion are not bad. But I mean, there isn't many situations in which we you will be one shotted by something with reflex saves. Saves there are, but they are fewer from far between, and uh, you just I have to add the reflex high enough to to only fail on a one, and at that point you are good to go. Actually, as I showed earlier, my reflex saves are not that great, so I could probably use some. I could use it, but uh, that wasn't my plan originally. My reflex saves actually just went down because I changed the, a few pieces on my gear and uh, I, I, that lost me 30 uh, PRR, so I put it back somewhere else and that basically removed my reflex item. That's the issue, basically. In the Azimar Scourge, you want to take all the cores for, for additional strength and more healing items, which also uh, recharges. Then you want to take all this line. This is not very important, just make your weapons good. But this 5% double step, and you get oversized to weapon fighting, which basically makes your AP maces in off end as good as in main end. And this gives you additional melee power and double strike, so that's really, really good. And as I mentioned earlier, the plus one to critical multiplier. To get there, you have to spend point elsewhere. So I took uh, the healing amplification because you would never have enough in the healing amplification. With this healing amplification and the basic devotion item, I can uh, heal myself quite good. I can show you my rejuvenation cocoon. Just to give you an example. As you can see, it's 130. It doesn't look much, but uh, Right now, I don't have a, a, a devotion item. With that, I, I, I was basically ticking for 300, which as a ranger in, in raids is pretty good, actually. 
and also one point in this uh, attack, which is not really important because uh, uh, what it basically does does extra damage against undead, but you don't find that many undead, uh, at least in the quest I mainly do, which is well, which are uh, Sharn and Feywild. But still, it's an attack with a plus W and a, an additional critical threat range. If I had more Varshal action point, I would go for it. I don't have. I only have one Varshal action point from my tomb, so. Uh, that's basically the reason. If I had more, as I said, I would take this. And then maybe, maybe we could consider the the sandbound the scourge, which is basically the the sal the the avakivi <laughs> for no juggle, But uh, I couldn't really spend points here; it's just flavor, basically. Um, but if I had racial action points in a, uh, I could actually spend regular action points elsewhere, which basically the deep stalker, and I will mention later the Arper agent, which wasn't used until three days ago actually. So in deep stalker, you want to take the first three cores because you get this attack, which gives you um, basically makes uh, the your enemy uh, vulnerable to sneak attacks. That's amazing. Every six second, your enemy can take sneak attacks, even if it's an undead or something else. So that and you, you can do a decent amount of damage as sneak attacks. And you, the, these would be good to have, honestly. And this is what I miss, which is uh, the competence bonus to critical threat range. As you can see, I'm pretty close. I can I. I can actually go for it by taking out this, but uh, I noticed that the problem wasn't critting but was surviving, and I will mention later what's uh, all that about. So here, uh, I took the, the first TL is really lackluster. I took this just, uh, it's not really that important, doesn't really go off that much. I forget to press it most of the time. Then I took empath empath empathic healing because uh, I could actually heal pretty decently my my party members and uh, they, they appreciated it was it it is a little amount of healing but it pretty much stacks with everything else because druids does, don't run lesser vigor and so you can actually do a pretty good amount of healing. Then, of course, you want to take all of this. Uh, if I had more points, I will go for this as well, which would be 30 HP and 5 PRR. Then, uh, Thrill of the Ant gives you some additional damage. Um, you could go for this as well, but I don't find Favor of Enemy pretty interesting as a mechanic, so I, I'm, I didn't uh, focus on that. Uh, I before going in this, I was running with, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, full full of the ant, and I was using killer, which gives you additional bonus to double strike. Whenever you kill uh, a mob, you can go up to twenty uh, double strike, but double strike caps at uh, one hundred. So I don't. I mean, this has diminishing returns. And of course, you could have um, the Merciful Strike ability, which uh, would give uh, some very important additional damage on sneak attacks, uh, like 500 damage, uh, as you can read. Um, but uh, I didn't have the action points. I will redo this build with uh, like 10 racial action points after a few reincarnations. <laughs> And in that case, I will take all of all of the missing abilities, these and all of these, and I I think I will see the difference in terms of DPS. And why I took no the angles? Well, the reason is because I noticed I was failing, and uh, just to be, yeah, I was failing my dire charge, which is my only only CC ability, it's 87, not that much. But uh, I found that with this ring, I could craft on it a 21 intelligence, which basically means a plus five to DC, if I have no the angles. 
So I decided to go for it. And, and uh, that 5DC actually means a lot. Uh, as you can see, uh, not 5DC, sorry. Um, it's, uh, what it is, what is it? Yeah, it's, uh, okay, uh, the, the item gives me 5DC, but I already have some intelligence because without the item, I still have uh, 22. So yeah, th this basically gives me an additional 8 DC, which is pretty pretty huge, 8 DC. And uh, so that's why I decided to talk know the angles. I'm pretty happy with it, but uh, although, although I had to sacrifice a few things, but as you can see, this ring is actually pretty good. It has mythic and uh, reaper bonuses as well. So, um, this is most of the thing as fits um, you pro can probably expect. Uh, uh, what I talk, uh, the as you can, this comes from announcements, these are given me by the ranger. I took two weapon defense for, an, for some additional PRR. Uh, I think you should take it. This then I took, uh, I took dodge and mobility and the spring attack. This was mainly because I wanted Spring Attack to have some sort of fly ability, which I was uh, used as a monk. Um, didn't really impress me, but uh, the overall the dodge bonus is okay, I guess. So who knows if I made the right call. Then of course uh, improved critical, and you want a uh, nice training because you get uh, plus one moral bonus to critical threat range. So you can see. My critical threat range uh, right now is 1820. It could be 1720 if I had the the deep stalker announcement, but uh, it's a pretty good thing. I took a pre precision because I do mostly damage on crits, and also it help uh, hitting the enemy. Of course, I didn't take any ranged fit. These are the ones that uh, Ranger gives you. Power of the enemy, construct, elemental, evil, evil outside, fa, uh, fey, undead. Uh, I took Goblinet because I was doing a lot, really a lot of charm, but I would probably consider some other, some, some other uh, power of the enemy, honestly. As for epic feats, nothing unusual, overwhelming critical, epic damage reduction. Blending speed so that I could just, I, I actually had uh, until recently uh, a speed item, but uh, I could take it out uh, easily if I needed. So I, this is a very good uh, fit. I took perfect two weapon fighting, perfect uh, because this it's amazing, plus five double strike and offhand double strike. So. El elusive target because I needed some additional defense, which I don't have any, and dire charge because it's on my only stun ability, and then Sion of Arborea. Stunning blow was something I considered, but uh, I went, uh, as you know, for spring attack. If I wasn't going for spring attack, I would probably take uh, the improved Sander and the stunning blow and, and maybe improved trip as well. But uh, I couldn't really, I didn't have the fits to do that. Uh, spells, uh, I will mention, but they are pretty standard. There's nothing really, uh, nothing else you can really take as a ranger. Skills, uh, I simply, uh, they are not ordered. I simply took, oh yeah, they are ordered. I took UMD, I took balance. I took con concentration to heal, move cycling just because I have additional points, search spot just to have it, since I have an, an item that, that lets me search any door in the game, basically at, that, at the end game. Swim, I actually swim faster than I can run, and tumble. And so this is my build. Uh, the, the items I'm using, they are not the top, but I have uh, I'm already show you the showed you the, the weapons which should be the, the two be beacons but I only have the, oh, the one of the night and I have the night matters then I'm using the part of the family set so legendary wild card legendary armor fits 
with a subfile of resistance inside because I didn't have resistance uh, anywhere else and the family record sigil and I'm using the artifact uh, for, uh, for strength and as you can see I'm using uh, I have a set bonus for 5 melee power and 5 strike to uh, chance I'm using um, plus 5 melee power a rare, a rare uh, one against many uh, plus one in strength and a plus one to hit and damage. They are not all rare, but that doesn't matter. As you can see, this is not a sentient weapon because I didn't, I don't, I don't plan to do this build that often. As wings, I'm using the leg legendary celestial ruby wing with intelligence, as I mentioned, for stunning and additional stunning with uh, uh, no the angles, and I'm using the legendary wing of power or quality strength basically like I don't need anything of the other stats then I have the, these are just toys to have some insightful sheltering because I didn't have that anywhere else and quality sheltering these are what the swaps that I did for uh, for my PRR and um, yeah uh, uh, this should be something else. I could probably fit uh, a two or three piece uh, um, winter set from Free Wild. Here we have a tw level 21 item just for the insightful magical shattering, which brings me to, me to the 100 cap. The MRR, MRR is capped. Uh, oh, not now, but when I play this song, it's capped, as you can see. And. Uh, then I'm using this mainly for the constitution and the double strike. I could actually move this to the belt, which was something I, I considered, and then use the uh, some uh, I basically putting the, the mantle for the insightful and quality uh, strength, which would free up two of my um, of my slots, but. Uh, I miss the dodge, and as you saw, I like the dodge. I need the dodge. Here we have the legendary symbol of the slave lord for the insightful constitution and the lesser displacement. It also has also has a golem sword, with, which I, I guess sometimes broke. Here I'm still using a uh, sightless. It basically gives me the melee power and not much in, much else, I think. Oh no, it's the, also my shell, my magical sheltering item, item, so it has those going for it. And yeah, pretty decent uh, item, but uh, I should probably change it. And then we have the legendary precision lenses, mostly for the insightful uh, strength. The additional action boosts are good as well, but mostly the insightful strength. Uh, I should probably change with the cloak of summer and move around the stuff. I'm also always running with a, but I don't cannot find it right now but a pinion in my inventory because when you are need to do range damage for instance to the pillars in LOB you click this put this on click this click this and the pillars are all dead even if you are not a ranged tune you still have 186 ranged power in this version, even better than than usual. So it's uh, and you have a pretty decent double shot with uh, the other thing uh, on. So yeah, you can still do pretty much damage. And I also I didn't have this on. Being a ranger gives you really, really, really. Uh, the things that you wouldn't expect to have usually and I'm missing an item oh yeah I'm not wave I'm not using my weapons which gives me additional bonuses to PR as I mentioned earlier and yeah so this was my stats 155 positive healing amplification spell power was up to 400 with a devotion item, but as you can see now, it's only 201. And I also had a positive uh, critical chance to 34 before, and I really want to fit in that again. 
defenses, nothing too special, as you can see, 25-15, saving throws are not ideal, but still. Uh, absorption, you have decent electric absorption and good fire absorption, which are probably the best absorption to have. You have, uh, yes, well, casting is not important. 50% helpless damage bonus, this should go up. Critical hit confirmation and damage bonus are pretty decent. A very good fortification bypass, especially since this doesn't factor in precision, I think. Oh, it does. Sorry, I thought it didn't. Uh, so this could be better. Uh, sadly, no dodge bypass. And you have some sneak attack bonus, which can go better because I took the active uh, sneak of shadows because I didn't have anything to take at level 24 in epic and so I took this that gives me some additional uh, sneak attack damage you can see I have an offhand hit chance of 105 you basically these caps uh, at 100 but it doesn't show it uh, offhand double strike is 40 and uh, you have a stack to the chance basically of 250 which becomes when you take when you click the the ability and as i mentioned early 63 percent base double strike as for epic destiny not much to say but i took a fury of the wild because i wanted burst damage took a uh, primal scream of course i went for sense weakness because there is basically nothing better with 30 percent extra damage to helpless and three plus three damage i took uh, some additional strike through although i don't know if this is the best i took uh, the the overwhelming force best best co uh, crowd control in the game as long as uh, adrenaline you can use it I took this for additional multiplier, took this for additional melee power, 10% uh, 10, 10 melee power is pretty good, and then of course Fury Eternal and then Bajal Fury. I cannot take this since I'm not using actually two-handed fighting. And also I took uh, this to give uh, Shaken, basically um, every mob I hit becomes a Shaken, which reduces uh, their saves, so uh, I can actually uh, it's easier for me to dare charge them or for anyone in the party to to do them to do very good uh, CC to them if I already damage them. As a twist, I took Martial Imn, Meld into Darkness. This needs no presentation. A Dust of Flower is pretty good for plus one to weapon attacks. There were other useful things and the Illumination Room. That's all. I'm just as I mentioned, I did consider the following twists. I considered this for the knockdown on Vorpal. Your Vorpal is just on 20, so that it's not that uh, super good. But I consider it as a crowd control uh, form. Uh, this uh, no no not this sorry. This gave me 5% uh, bonus to damage. I consider this is probably pretty good. It's probably it's debatable. If I didn't have to take Maldito Darkness, I would consider it. Nothing to take in uh, Legendary Dreadnought. You could do use Dreadnought instead of Fury of the Wild, but this two needs uh, burst damage. Ending with Master of Flower, together with uh, this, you could also make an argument to take uh, uh, the plus three to damage and plus three to double strike mostly for the damage so this is all uh, hope you enjoy if you need any clarification of the, on the build let me know oh yeah uh, said note this build is based on one from uh, stream toms i will link it in the description below but uh, i took my own de decision while doing so and so it's um, quite different in some respects let me know and see you later